lot of people have been asking me about uh, how do I make my columns. This is a piece that I've been working on, and it's going to be part of a, a, candle, a candlestick holder, but people, I taught a workshop down in Florida a couple of weeks ago, and they were like, man, these columns are really cool. Columns can be used for anything. I've used them in earrings. They're very popular, and they're always a, they're always a, a good departure point. So I'm going to show you how I make a column. So here's the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a draw plate. You're going to need a 12-point starburst draw plate. This is a big one. This goes from 1 through 31. This will get you anywhere you want to go. I've got another one that's smaller that I bought years ago, and then I found this one. This is the one you want. 31 holes, auto fry. It's made in Italy. It's a very good draw plate. Then you're going to, so you're going to take this, and then you're going to take medium wall tubing, and you're going to draw the tubing down to the size that you want your column. Obviously, this is a big column. This is going to be a smaller one right here. So you just draw it down until you have the size you want. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is this, there are going to be three pieces. You're going to take your piece. So I've cut this off, and this is one of my columns, right? I just cut a piece off of the tubing. First thing I'm going to do is draw a piece of tubing down that fits over my column. I want it snug. I don't want it loose. I want it snug. All right. You're going to cut about an eighth of an inch off of this so that you have something that looks like this. We'll get back to that in a minute. So you're going to take this long piece, this, it's going to fit over on this, and then you're going to have another piece that's going to fit over this. So you have three steps that fit into each other. I cut those off. Now here's what you got to do before you cut them off. This is going to be one of them that I'm going to use. I'm going to take my little piece here. I'm going to take this and put it in here and I'm just going to file it flat at them with my jig here until one side is perfectly flush. That's all you need. One side. Don't worry about the other one yet. I take it out. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to end up with this little piece an eighth of an inch. I'm going to take my bigger piece and put it in here and flush cut it and cut a narrower one like this. So now I've got this piece here, I've got this piece here, and I've got my column. So. This is going to be my base plate, 18 gauge silver. These are the only components you need. So I'm going to take my, my piece right here. I'm going to lay it on here. But before I do that, I want to push this It's got to be a tight fit. So I just take a pair of pliers. I have to and just kind of coax it down a little bit. So she's started now. Right? Once I've got that on, I'm going to lay it on top of this. Just like that. I'm going to drop one piece of solder right down inside the barrel and it's going to zap everything at one time. So we'll do that next. All I'm going to do is just flux that. Flux this, lay it on top, take a piece of medium solder, or hard solder, you can use either one, and drop it down inside. Now you you have to have the flat end, the one the one you filed and beveled down on the plate because the piece has to stand straight up. It can't be angled, so you just have to practice your cutting on the tubing. Now I make my little plate at the bottom a little bit bigger. I can always trim that up. And I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what the hell I'm doing. There we go. That looks good.
Got it. One shot. So, I'm going to go pickle that, and that's my base plate. So I've got my base plate here, and I take my piece of tubing, like this. I make sure when I put, th now I've got to do this too. I've got to put this piece in here and do the same thing and flatten it. It's got to be flat. This one I've already done and it's perfectly flat. And I've also taken a file and I've just beveled around the edge of it a little bit. All right, I'm going to flux this and I'm going to press fit it into my piece so that when I put it on this piece of charcoal I know that it is sitting perfectly straight up and down. But the problem now arises, how am I going to solder it? I take easy solder one piece of easy I put it on a charcoal block and make a ball. And it's just like an old musket. I'm going to drop it in there, take a drill bit or something, and I've already fluxed it down here. And I'm going to push that ball all the way to the bottom, just like that. The solder's in there. And what's the beauty of this? You're not going to see any, no cleanup. I know my solder's down there, and I'm, I'm just going to heat it up and solder that baby on. There she went. There's the base of my column. I'll do the same. Now, if, if I want to put another cap on this end, what am I going to do? You've got to drill a hole somewhere here so it's, so because you have an air pocket in here. So just drill a tiny hole in the end of it, and then go ahead when you find out how long you want it to be. You see, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to go ahead and pickle this so you can see what, what, what it's going to look like real quick. Okay, so here's my column. Nice little piece. So you wonder, what am I going to do with that? So these are some columns that I've made uh, for earrings. Now the cool thing about these columns and using tubing is the weight factor. They're very light. You don't have to worry about them weighting down an ear and they hang I can get this down. There it goes. They hang really well. You can go with a bright, bright color, or you can go with uh, oxidizing, whatever you want to do. But anyway, that's how I make my columns, and uh, you know, feel free to do it.